wanting to get organized for the new school year and what better way to do that than a semester reset. <laughs> As I'm filming this, it is Friday and I go back to school for second semester on Monday. I'm a junior in college, if you didn't know. What better way to get organized than to kind of just refresh all of my like electronics and organize my school bag and kind of like have a little spa night and make myself like feel better. Yeah, hopefully this will make me feel better about going back to class. Let's, let's just get started. <laughs> The first thing that I want to do is a little tech refresh as I'm calling it. So I use an iPad Air and then also a MacBook Pro for school. Kind of wanted to get new cases for this semester, but I didn't end up doing that. I really want to clean this one though because it's like kind of dirty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the cases off of both of them. I have the purple iPad, so I wanted like a purple case. and I think it's so pretty, but now it's all like gross underneath the case. I wish I could just use it like this, but I do not trust myself to simply just whip this out. In class, I definitely need a case. Oh, it's so nice and thin though. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe this down. I have some Clorox wipes and paper towel and I'm gonna wipe down this case. Um, and then I'm going to, I have a screen protector on it. I use the paper, paper-like screen protector. This is not sponsored, but it makes your screen feel like paper, you know, <laughs> paper-like. Um, except when I applied this one, I did not do a very good job and there's air bubbles everywhere and it's all like gross so I need to definitely reapply that um, and it comes with two so good thing I have another one and I'm going to be more careful applying this one and actually I just did not apply it correctly last time so we're going to do that together. As for my laptop, first of all this case is all, it's so cute but if you look at it very closely it is all dirty and gross and also this bottom is like all cracked like this part does not like to stay on so I think this semester I'm going to go caseless with my laptop and then if I really hate it I'll just order a new one on Amazon like whatever, but I'm going to take this off. Okay. <gasps> I dropped it. Got that off. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty without the case, but it's just like, I don't know if I trust myself without it. There's only one of these little like pad things on there now. So it slides around anyways. So I'm just going to take that off as well and just wipe down both of these. <laughs> it's just all cracked. Also, this will definitely make, oh, it's all gross. <laughs> it's, I'm just like exposing myself for how gross these are, but it'll make it feel lighter too because it's already like lighter without the case. So yeah, let's get to work cleaning and reapplying. I need like one of those little mini vacuums so I can like clean up all the little tiny dust that's on here. That looks so much better. Like this whole semester, I've just been like looking at my screen and I'm like, I need to clean that so bad. Nice, shiny, clean laptop, all brand new. Most of the dust is off of it. Perfect, ready for the semester. Ow, now let's clean my iPad case. Like this is so gross, but. iPad case is all clean. And now to clean the actual iPad, I'm just gonna clean the back of it real quick. Now to take off the screen protector and reapply the new one. I hope this one goes better. Cause like, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's like, air yeah, you can see, look at that. Like all the little air bubbles. I'm gonna watch a video on how to apply it and I'll be back. <laughs> okay guys, I read the instructions. I watched a video. I have it all ready and cleaned. Fairly confident that I did it correctly this time. Pull this as you let it go down. And then you do the air bubbles. It's like over the edge over here. I'll have a case on it so I won't be able to see it. Time for the moment of truth and where I messed up last time was taking this part off and I like realized that I put it on upside down. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it worked. I think I went too fast last time and just peeled both of them off. And that was my issue. <gasps> there's no big air bubbles, thank God. Of course, there's gotta be like a little piece of dust. There's always gotta be that one little piece of dust. It looks so much better than it did before. There's no like big chunks of dust stuck under it. And it feels like paper and it's gonna be nice and fresh to write on. Let's put it back in its nice clean case and we'll have all of my electronics all refreshed. <laughs> I got this case from Amazon, by the way. You just look up like iPad Air case and it comes up beautiful. Ready to take a bunch of notes next week. My little Apple ecosystem going on here. Let's move on to the organization portion of this reset. Now it is time to organize 
my backpack. Um, I emptied it out after last semester, but there's still like stuff in here. So I think I'm just literally gonna take most things out. Just like show you guys what I keep in my backpack as well. Also, this is the North Face Borealis backpack in this like really pretty green color. I gotta say I don't love it because it's, the pocket is really weird because whatever you shove up here like blocks you from being able to put anything in this big pocket and like the shape, it like, because I don't even have that much stuff up here, but it just is hard to get in and out of this big pocket with this pocket in the way. I don't know. So I don't necessarily recommend this one. I do still really like it and I still use it. Like I haven't obviously gotten a different one. I've used it every day of college since I started. What I do love about it though is one thing that I really wanted in the backpack was a laptop sleeve. So especially this semester since I won't have a case on this, it'll be nice to just slide that right in there. Oh, slides perfectly in there for the bigger main compartment now that that's all. Oh wait, I still have this bag from my last lunch that I packed. Okay. I always like to keep Oh my god, this is all of last semester's papers in it. I like to keep one or two folders in my backpack. I'm gonna start with one, and then if I find I need more, I'll keep another one. And there, mostly it just holds my syllabus, syllabi, <laughs> syllabuses. And then I always, even though I do take notes on my iPad, sometimes the professor's like, okay, pull out a sheet of paper and do this or whatever. So I always like to have a, obviously, real paper with me. Fresh start. Always keep a little notebook in there. And then obviously my main actual notebook, <laughs> my iPad. I love having a paper planner. Um, obviously this is like my main source of like planning my days, but I also do use Notion. Um, but I love having a paper planner on me just to write down assignments quick. But that is what I keep in that main pocket. And then if I pack like a lunch or like snacks and stuff, I'll throw that in there too. And then we come to this front pocket, which I just use as like a pencil case basically. because it has all these like organization pockets in it. So I have Highlighters, pens, and pencils right here. And then I keep this little stack of index cards if I ever need to use them for studying or whatever. And then it has this zipper pocket actually. These, my little Apple pencil tips. And then one more thing that I put in here as well are wired earbuds because I don't know why, it's just a me thing. I don't fully trust my AirPods to always connect to my laptop automatically. So I love using wired earbuds, especially on like Zooms. And just if I'm in public and I have to listen to something on my laptop, I'll use these because I just like trust the connection more than a Bluetooth for some reason. Other essentials that I love keeping in my backpack, hand sanitizer is an essential. I just keep this little, <laughs> I've never used this. It's just a little white eraser in case I ever need to erase something big, I guess. Mini Tide to go because I spill things on me 24 seven. So I always need some sort of Tied to go on me. Gum, specifically the extra spearmint gum. This is the only gum I've chewed since like probably middle school. So favorite flavor of gum. I also have a backup pack, but I'm going to leave that at home for now. But I do love these bigger packs. Pack of tissues, especially in the winter. My nose runs so much when I'm walking to and from class. This little mini hairbrush I love having, especially for my bangs, like not even to brush my whole hair, but like just my bangs get all gross sometimes walking to and from class. Obviously you gotta have the essential AirPods. If I don't have my AirPods on me, it's simply not gonna be a good day. Like if I get to school and I park and I look at my backpack and I don't have my AirPods to listen to while walking to class, I just might as well turn around and go home. Um, and then as for lip products, I always love having a bunch of different options on me. My main lip product that I love to use for when my lips are dry and they need moisture like quick are, are these Vaseline um, little sticks. Use these 24 seven, have one of these in my purse, in my work bag, in my backpack, in my car, just everywhere. Throw that in there. Um, and then if I want a little gloss, I have this clear NYX butter gloss. And then I've been loving the e.l.f. Um, squeeze me lip balm recently. This is also very hydrating. I will say I always like to have something with like color on it too Because especially in the winter my lips just like are white and pale. Um, so right now I love these fat oil slick click um, Things from NYX. They're like the Tarte dupes My backpack is now all packed and ready for Monday. Also, I do commute to and from campus I don't think I said that but as someone who commutes to campus and junior in college I just need all these with me you know, throughout the day to refresh and stuff. So I feel a lot better now that my backpack is like packed and organized and everything's good to go. The next step in organization is all of the computer work, checking Canvas and setting up my OneDrive and setting up my GoodNotes notebooks so I can actually take notes on the first day. There's only two of my classes up right now. So I'm just gonna check this. I'm not even necessarily, oh my gosh, like the whole semester's up. 
I'm not even gonna look through the syllabus necessarily because those professors always do that on the first day anyway So it's like if I do that now, then it's just like going over information that I already looked at I literally was like I don't have to read through the syllabus before class and there's literally a syllabus quiz due before the first class meeting I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm on my one drive. I'll show you guys kind of how I organize it so I have my Files and then I have a different folder for each semester. What color should we make this? I want it like a bright. I think we'll do like a blue. Then we're gonna open that up and then we're gonna make folders within the folder. <laughs> I'm gonna make five different folders, each one titled to a class. Com 212. I could spell English 289. Media studies 357. Poly 305. Actually, I wanna make them all pastel, <laughs> but all the little folders. That's all set up. I'm gonna do the same thing with my good notes now. It's basically the same thing. All these folders and then I'm gonna create a new folder for this semester. And then within that folder, I'm gonna create five different notebooks, one for each class, obviously. All my notebooks are set up, ready to dive into them on the first day. The last thing that I'm gonna do in terms of organization is just check my student email and make sure I'm not like missing anything important. Because <laughs> I've, I've done that in the past, I've not checked my email over break and then I missed something important. So we're gonna do that, I'm not gonna film it, but that is it for my organization for school. I don't know, there's a much, not much I can really do until I get all the syllabuses and everything, like all the assignments and like enter those into my planner, which I'll do like throughout the first week. Um. So I feel like one of the most important parts of any reset is the self-care portion, or at least it's my favorite part. So the first thing we're gonna do for the self-care part, I guess, is pick out an outfit for the first day of school. This is a very important step for literally any time I have anything early the next morning, so I always set out my clothes early for school. But first, I'm gonna check the weather and see. I mean, it's just, I know it's gonna be like freezing cold, so like, and I already have an idea of what I wanna wear, but I might pick out a few different options and we'll see. Monday, <laughs> high of 32 degrees, low of 15 degrees, so it's gonna be freezing. One idea is actually the outfit that I wore in my 22nd birthday vlog because I just love that sweater so, so much. This sweater from Hollister, um, I just love this neckline. It's a little bit cropped, but like not too cropped. But then underneath it, I like wearing one of these airy bodysuits. It might be too warm. I feel like just a plain black tank top underneath would be perfect. That might be able to work underneath it. Or I have this black tank top that I just feel like the black works underneath the sweater. I don't know. Or this vest that I could also wear over a bodysuit. I just love this vest so much. It's literally from Walmart, but like online, like the app Walmart. So I don't think you can get it in stores. I wouldn't wear it with this. Well, actually this blue doesn't not work, but I would wear like the black version of this bodysuit. And the neckline actually does work very well. I'd probably also wear it with these jeans. Hold on. Like these jeans kind of work. And then I'd probably just wear docks or I have these platform black converse that would work and make it more casual and more comfy to walk in. I think I'd wear these black jeans with this vest and then a black bodysuit. So this is outfit option one. Or white sweater with these low-waisted-ish, or the, they're mid-rise, these boot-cut light wash jeans and my red docks. Those are my two options for the first day. I'm leaning towards this one. Also, whatever one I don't wear on the first day, I'll probably just wear the next day. So it doesn't really matter that much, but I don't know what you guys think. By the time this video is up, I've probably already decided, but I think I'm leaning more towards this because it's like a little more <laughs> casual. That's what I'm thinking for the outfits. Okay, the next part of this video, first of all, I don't have makeup on, so we're just ignoring that. The next part of this video is actually the first thing I'm filming for this video. The next part of <laughs> My semester reset is to trim my bangs because at this point they're not even bangs, current bangs, I guess. But and I figured I'd show you guys how I do it because I don't know if I've showed it before, but I just trim my own bangs because I don't need a full hair trim, but these my bangs grow really fast. So, well, this is my first time using these hair cutting scissors, they're just from Alta. I got them like last month. So, I'll show you how I do it. This is not a professional tutorial, it's just what I've found works for me over the past like year. First thing I do, obviously, is section my hair and I just find all of my bang pieces, clips my hair back, and then I kind of always grab like these little side pieces. Yeah. I'm gonna just tuck those behind my ear. But what I first do is I gather all the hair and I kind of just do one big like chop just to get the length <laughs> off. And then I go in with the shaping and that takes more length off, obviously. I just have such a big forehead. I feel like if I didn't have bangs, that's not a good look. This is 
where we're at after the first little chop. Like that's not bad, I just need to make them a little shorter. So then what I like to do is the trick where I'm gonna take the two sides. I take one side and you like put it over to this side and it creates like the angle that you want, I think. Okay, see, and it creates like shorter to longer type situation. My right side always ends up kind of wonky, I feel like. I think I'm just gonna continue to kind of trim and shape them and I'll get back to you guys. For what that, I just kind of take it all in the middle and then go like this. <laughs> Let me show you actually. <laughs> can you see that? Hopefully you can. I think it gives it texture. It <gasps> looks really good. Except they're still a little long. Like I don't like when they're touching my eyelashes. There's hair in my eyes, oh my God. I'm gonna style them now. It looks pretty good actually. And then yeah, I just kind of part them. Sometimes I'll even just like, once I get out of the shower, I'll just style them like normal bangs and like have them fall straight forward. I think it looks really good. So now my bangs are all trimmed for the new semester. The next part of my little self-care, I don't know what you want to call it, the self-care part of this video, <laughs> I need to do my nails because what is this? I feel like my hands look nicer when they're all done. Um, and I've been growing out my natural nails in between like putting on glue on nails and then today at work they all like chipped off, so. That was really fun, but we're just gonna work with what we got. I guess I just like I said I do just glue on nails They're just what works for me and they're easier I'm gonna do my nails and then I also need to do my eyebrows because they are going crazy I think the last time I did them was like Thanksgiving um, So I'm gonna do a little before and after of that. I just pluck my own eyebrows like I don't get them done or anything I just kind of do that So I think I'm also gonna trim my bangs a little bit more than what I did the other day I'll give you a before of my eyebrows and then we'll show you after I do have like makeup on them right now but they're just kind of wilding out. Okay, I'm in my pajamas, so just ignore that. But I'll give you guys a little after. I don't know if you can really see any difference, but they definitely look a lot better in person at least. And then I also did my nails. I was gonna film it, but there was really no point. Like it's just me gluing on fake nails onto my nails. Um, I think they're so cute. They're just like plain simple black French tips, but I love them and they're actually short and I feel like they don't make short nails with like actually like cute designs or that look cute. So when I found these at Ulta, I was very excited. Um, and I did get my bangs a little bit more of a trim. I just did the same thing I showed you guys earlier. And yeah, that's the end of my little self care, I guess, like preparing for class. I can like feel myself getting congested and I'm just like trying to ignore it. Thank you guys for coming along, doing a little mini glow up, I don't know. So that was my semester reset. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped a little bit or just maybe inspired you, motivated you to get more organized for the school year or, just whatever. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye.